Welcome to Mark Strong Edits. Today, I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to do 3D camera tracking in After Effects. Let's check it out. Alright, we'll start by right clicking on the footage we're going to be tracking. Select Track and Stabilize, and then choose Track Camera. After Effects will analyze the background. This process may take a while depending on how much movement your scene has. Once the camera track has finished, you'll see several track points in your footage. Find about three or more track points that create a flat surface, kind of like this. We're going to right click this and select Set Ground Plane and Origin. I'll right click these same track points and this time I'll choose Create Null and Camera. Now I'll create a solid to make the object I'll be tracking in the scene. I'll rename it Saber. With the ellipse tool selected, I'll create an oval shape. And I'll right click in the effects control panel and select Video Copilot and choose Saber. We'll choose Customize Core and under the Core Type drop down, we'll choose Layer Mask. I'll change the transfer mode from Normal to Screen. Back into our Saber effect settings, I'll choose the preset drop down and change the Saber effect to one that looks more interesting, kind of like a portal. And I'll also adjust the color a little bit. Selecting the Null layer, we'll hit P on the keyboard, select Position, and hit Command C or Control C if you're on Windows. This will copy our tracking data. We'll select our Saber layer and enable 3D. We'll hit P on the keyboard for position. Click position and hit command V. Our tracking data has now been pasted to our object and we can freely adjust it into our scene now. And that's about it. To track more items into the scene, just follow these steps over again. The only thing you don't have to do is create a new ground plane. All you need is one of those. Just create null objects, copy the tracking data, paste it to your object that you're tracking into the scene, and that's it. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section if you found this helpful or if you have any requests for other tutorials you'd like for me to make. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.